Hey there, micromaniacs! Have you ever wondered about that clingy, transparent stuff that keeps your food fresh in the fridge? Yup, you guessed it right. We're talking about plastic wrap, a superhero of your kitchen that deserves a bit more credit than it gets. Let's dive in. But first, let's take a step back in time. You see, plastics are artificial polymers. Basically, that means they're these huge molecules formed by combining thousands of tiny molecules into a long chain, kind of like a molecular conga line. We call these tiny molecules monomers in the process of combining them. That's called polymerization. The first ever plastic was cooked up by a British chemist named Alexander Parks way back in 1862, using a wild mix of cotton, nitric acid, sulfuric acid, castor oil and camphor, creating something he called Parkesine. Fast forward to the 20th century, artificial rubber and fibers like nylon were introduced. The evolution of plastics had officially begun. Our food wrap journey begins with cellophane, another cellulose derivative invented by Swiss chemist Jacques Brandenberger in 1911. Transparent and convenient, it was used as early as 1924. Cellophane was king until 1963, when a newcomer stole the throne. Say hello to polyethylene. Accidentally discovered by researchers at the British company Imperial Chemical Industries in 1933, when they mixed benzene and ethylene at high temperatures and pressure. Another key player in our plastic wrap story is PVC or polyvinyl chloride. It came into play before World War II originally as a substitute for rubber. Today, it's found in everything from pipes to shoes and, you guessed it, our trusty plastic wrap. But let's not forget PVT or polyvinylidene chloride developed during World War I Kai for military use by the Dow Chemical Company. It was used to package sensitive equipment and in 1952, it was introduced to the public under the name we all know, sarin wrap. And there you have it, folks. The amazing history and science of our everyday hero, the plastic wrap.